try it again. Well, what is up guys? Welcome back to another experimental video on the channel. If you're a subscriber to this channel, you've seen several what happens if videos that we've done over the years. We've done them in modern cars. We've also done them in a old uh, Chevy Prism from 1998. And we've done several videos in the truck behind me here, my 1994 Ford Ranger. We put vodka in the gas tank. We've uh, put the transmission in reverse while driving, it was absolutely awesome. We put the transmission from fifth gear to first gear while going 65 miles an hour. That was awesome too, although the truck broke. Now one thing to mention here real quick is that this is indeed a manual, in case you didn't know that yet. And in today's video, we're gonna do another scientific experiment. Not really, but uh, it's something I've been wondering about. Now this truck is indeed four wheel drive and on most four wheel drive vehicles, you have different drive modes. So on this truck here, we have two high, meaning it's driven on the rear wheels. And then you have four high, it's full four wheel drive system. You should be using that in off-road situations, not really dry pavement. And then you have four low. So we're gonna show that here on the little manual lever that this has. It's not like an electronic button or anything like that. So we have two high, four high, and four low. Now four low is for extreme off-road conditions really uh, and you shouldn't be going faster than around 20 25 miles per hour because the difference between four high and four low is uh, mainly gearing and it just sends more torque to the wheels so for the transfer case and transmission all that stuff you shouldn't be driving faster than 25 miles an hour in four low so in today's video we of course are going to test this out so what happens if you shift to four low from either too high or four high to four low while you're going 55 miles an hour. That's something I've been wondering about for a very long time. Now we're doing this experiment, of course, in this truck because it's an older vehicle and a new vehicle, probably just dummy safe and nothing would really happen. It was just a light would pop up telling you that you can't do it at a speed like that. So, but not in this truck. Also, what we have to do, since this truck is old school, you have to lock the hubs manually. So you have to turn them from free to lock on the front axle here. So we've done it on both. And I've never had it in four-wheel drive, so I don't even know if it works. So let's just try that out real quick. Put the clutch in. Look at that, four by four. Let's see if that works. At least the brake here. Oh yeah, it works. Perfect. Oh, it doesn't have any power. Yeah. This truck doesn't have a power steering pump, so a little hard to turn with one arm. Now once you get it in four high, it'll say four by four. Once it's in four low, it says low range. So we're just gonna try it out here real quick. You can feel right away. Yeah, it's like it doesn't have any power. It's just torque. And that's basically just designed to be able to get you out of a really slippery or muddy situation. It's definitely not meant to be uh, engaged in speeds over 25 miles an hour. So we'll see what happens. All right, so we're just gonna try it out here and get out on the road. Always as nervous. I should probably wear my seatbelt for this one. <laughs> here we go. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> chirps in second, what? All right, so we're just gonna get up to speed here. 55 miles an hour. This thing is so slow, it has like, I don't know, 70 horsepower maybe? All right, 55. Gotta put the clutch in. That didn't work at all. Oh my god. So we got it in four wheel drive at least. It was in too high earlier. Let's see if we can get it in here now. I know that, but I'm not able to get it in four low. 
Hmm. <laughs> this poor truck, man. I mean, it's a trooper, though. Still going strong. So we'll do this. We'll stop and then just try to get it in four low. See how fast we can go. There, low range. Oh, oh yeah, that's a lot of torque. Holy crap. <laughs> it does like five miles an hour. <laughs> hey man, we can go pretty fast though. 55 and four low. <laughs> actually pretty interesting the transfer case obviously does not like this also oh, mud <laughs> that goes without saying don't try this foolishness in your own vehicles I'm a trained idiot professional and I bought this vehicle simply for these type of purposes so don't don't try it in like a a newer one because first off I don't even think it would work at all secondly if it did work and something broke it's not my fault try it again <laughs> what <laughs> the whole knob came off <laughs> So it won't let me put it in for low while I'm driving. All you guys could hear there was a bunch of screeching sounds, um, but it wouldn't really go into four low while driving. And we did about 55. We'll try it again here. <laughs> Come on, baby. Fifth gear and four low. speedometer has a life of its own man this this truck is like indestructible we've done whoops we've done so many weird experiments and things in this truck well we got battery light blinking now that's the first but I mean this truck can take pretty much anything I'm impressed well there we have it even a Ford Ranger from 1994 is idiot proof from a guy like me. It wouldn't let me put it in four low. Now I figured if I managed to get it in four low, while we're going 55 miles an hour, uh, I thought we would have like a similar effect to what happened when we went from fifth to first because of the difference in, in torque. It's like the vehicle just breaks all of a sudden, but we actually managed to get it up to 55 in four low when you're only supposed to drive around 20, 25. But man, I love this truck. Uh, it has served its purpose. There's still more experiments to do in the Ford Ranger. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, hit that thumbs up button. If you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already and you want to, please subscribe. I'll be back very, very soon with a new video in the Ford Ranger. Bye-bye.